What's God doing for you? I want to thank the Lord for, um, for his presence. It's so overwhelming. Um, it's real, isn't it? Yes, it's really real. Had this ever happened to you before? Never. Were you a little skeptical? I was. Um, although our youth group had um, one of your vid videotapes at our prayer meeting on the fourth floor of the prayer tower. And I'm just so hunger, hungry and thirsty. I said, yes, God. And so Sunday night, um, I was singing up here, and uh, we were about to sing To God Be the Glory, and um, Brother Stacy got frozen at the keyboard, and I wasn't really in the spirit much at this, that time, and I thought he didn't know the key or how to play, and I wanted to help him. And then you went over, and, and I knew he was in the spirit, and um, you pushed the button on the synthesizer for the music to play, and... He fell to the ground and the Lord was speaking to me and said, this is, this is how he wants his children to be, that this is the, the normal, to live in the supernatural and to be in his presence. And then the service was over and you walked past me and, and you were putting up your microphone and the power of God just hit me and I haven't been the same since. <laughs> Now, what's been happening to you, sir? <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I, I <laughs> this brother's the head of Youth for Christ. <laughs> out of Tampa. I... <laughs> And then what happened after that? Uh, this, <laughs> That's just wonderful. <laughs> and then? <laughs> now, I tell you what's so wonderful about this, apparently, I don't have the full story. I've never really heard it yet. <laughs> but I heard it through the grapevine. What happened, he went back to the offices, I think it was Monday, and people were falling out under the power of God in the, in the Youth of Christ offices. And I don't really, do you, Pastor Steve, do you know any more of that story? Well, I haven't heard it either. It's just a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Come here, dear brother. What happened to you, sir? <laughs> Hungry. <laughs> oh, I have to tell the people. Um, brother Rodney kept telling us to be hungry. And get hungry. Oh, hallelujah. Just briefly, tell us what happened. Okay. <laughs> um, today, he called everyone up for um, prayer for ministers, prophets, evangelists. And apostles, prophets, yeah. evangelists, pastors, and teachers. Yes, yes. <laughs> Fivefold ministry. Yeah. Oh, yes, Jesus. Yeah. And he laid hands on me, and I fell out in the spirit. Yeah, my spirit left my body, and the first place I, I was flying like S Superman, but I was on my back, like on a magic carpet, like. But and there was doves, one on each hand and one on each foot, but I, they were angels carrying me. And the first place I came to was the Temple Mount. It was a gold Temple Mount, and I was rolling around on the gold Temple Mount, and it was like liquid gold. And the, oh, oh, Jesus. And the next place that I went to was Mount of Olives. I know it was a big mount. And the, the next was the Garden of Gethsemane. Oh, oh, yeah. And then what happened? And then I, I went to Golgotha, the skull. 
Calvary. Oh, Jesus. And then I went to the tomb, and it was dark for a few minutes. It was really dark. And then I was called up to the kingdom. It was like Washington, D.C. with the big pillars. And when I entered in, they turned into fire. The pillars turned into fire. And I was in the throne room where all the angels were singing, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Holy, holy, holy is the Lord. Oh, Jesus. Yes, Jesus. Oh, and then when I came back, I was on the top of this church where the cross is up there. Looking over Lakeland, seeing revival and fire hitting all the cities, all the parts of the city, all the neighborhoods, all the workplaces, all the churches, all abominate denominations. Hallelujah. Yes, Jesus. Oh, thank you for revival. Oh, Jesus. It's real, people. It's like look at fire, people. Hallelujah. You shall not. See, his whole body is shaking. His whole body is just trembling. His whole body is just trembling. Now, people have very, many different varied experiences as God touches them. What's happening to you, brother? Praise God. I had uh, this morning the opportunity for the Lord to really minister to me. Uh, before Brother Rodney came out, I was up here and I was praising the Lord this morning. And as I was, as I was praising the Lord, the anointing came up on me and the Lord said, I have chosen you. And I'm going to put a new anointing upon you today. And I was slain in the spirit. And I was there for a while. And I got back up. And then when he called for the ministers to come down, I was standing here. And one of the catchers was behind me said, you got to move. I said, I can't. I was right where God wanted me. I didn't know then why, but I know now. As I was slain in the spirit, the gentleman that was sitting beside it, or standing beside it, I mean, when he was slain in the spirit, he fell across my face with such impact that I thought that my skull had been literally bursted open. I thought that my nose was bleeding. I, I, I didn't understand what was happening. I had terrific pain. Several years ago, I had surgery in the right ear and the right skull, and I lost 60% of the hearing. As, as quick as the pain came, the pain left. And when that happened, I realized that I was hearing out of my right ear. <laughs> Glory. Public hearing. I also want to say that, yes, I will never be the same again. Because I, I want to go back the other night. I was laying in the spirit. I was so drunk in the spirit, my son-in-law had to... <laughs> take me out and drive me home, you know, and I've been that way just about ever since, but when the anointing is there, it goes with you throughout the day. Just yield yourself and let him have his way with you. Oh, gosh. Glory. What's happening to you? Jesus. Jesus. Help me tell him, Jesus. Monday night, I was scheduled for surgery today at 11.15. And Monday night, the Lord healed me. I was in the back row, and you didn't touch me, but the Holy Ghost did. Yeah. And I felt him heal me. Wonderful. And I called the surgeon on Wednesday and told him that it was gone. I had to have a nodule removed, and it was gone. And I wanted to testify so bad. But the devil kept tormenting me and saying, that's so stupid, you can't go up and tell the people. That's too embarrassing. That's gross. That's stupid. That's dumb. That's embarrassing. And I kept saying, Lord, I want to tell the people. I said, Lord, give me boldness. Let me not be ashamed or embarrassed, because they need to know what you did for me. And I said, give me boldness. Let me tell them. And he gave me a vision. And I saw Jesus going down the street with blood all over him. Was he beat him and they spit upon him. And he said, I wasn't ashamed. And then they put him on the cross. And he said, I wasn't embarrassed. I didn't have a loincloth. And I wasn't embarrassed. So don't be embarrassed. The Lord removed an oversized hemorrhoid. <laughs> and then the 
devil started it on me again. And he said, you can't go up and tell the people about that. When you have had an affliction in your body, you have interstitial cystitis, you've had a rare bladder disease for 12 and a half years, what kind of a God are you serving that took away a tiny little hemorrhoid? Now just five minutes before, he's saying what a horrible, awful, big hemorrhoid I had. Now he's saying this little teeny, tiny hemorrhoid. And he wants to focus in on the bladder disease. But God gave me a boldness and I said, Satan, I got a brother in heaven and his name is Paul and he had a thorn in the side. And in my Bible, he was never delivered of that that I know of. And I got some cousins, Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, and they said, whether he deliver me or whether he doesn't, I'll not bow down to you. There's more, hallelujah. He gave me some real power in Jesus. And I said, Lord Jesus, let me have some real fun with him. You gave me the power now. And I said, Satan, there's only one thing about your new age theology I like. It's mind over matter. Because Jesus took my interstitial cystita and its pain. And I got this disease, but I don't mind. So therefore, it doesn't matter. Hallelujah. Lord, the feel of that other disease, too. <laughs> What's happening to you, son? <laughs> Last night, I was, uh, I, they were praying for a woman over there, <laughs> and there was this like, <laughs> this like, like big ugly thing, <laughs> like ugly thing, like right by her, and there was these like little things, I don't know, like holding on to her, and over there, like glowing, it's just really big, you know. <laughs> Big, you know, <laughs> and it started moving over there, and like the, like the little things like let out this like little shriek, <laughs> and it just like like scattered, and the the bigger thing got this like look on his face like you know like an elephant just stepped on his foot or something, <laughs> and <laughs> and the big thing just like went up, <laughs> and. He said so something like, <laughs> I don't remember, and he just like, smushed it, <laughs> and it like, ran away, screaming, and, and they were crying. <laughs> How many understood what he said? Huh? Uh, when we were praying for the lady over here after the service was over, he was the southeastern student that saw the angel of the Lord come across the room and grab the devils off the lady and throw them out of the room. That's what he was trying to say. Now that you, now that you said that, it made sense. What happened to you? That's wonderful. And then what happens? <laughs> God. <laughs> At work. <laughs> At work. What happened? I wanted to say before I got here. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's 
It's a joy unspeakable, folks. <clears throat> exactly. All I could do is cry Sunday and Monday when I went to work. People were getting saved. I work in a medical facility. There's a lot of skeptics there. <laughs> um, and revival was starting to break out, and people were coming and saying, how can I get that? They wanted what you had. They wanted the Lord. And I said, Lord, what, what, why, why, why haven't I laughed? I wanted to laugh. And I didn't understand why everybody was laughing. So Tuesday, I was in the office, and I just started to laugh. It just came all over me. We're at the office. In the office. And they're shutting the door because the people in the reception area, they're all gawking in. I couldn't control it. I was just hysterical. I was like, okay, I can, I can do this. I can do this. I got it together. And then I would look at somebody, and I'd start laughing again. And I walked into the workroom and the Lord revealed to me what laughter was and why the laughter. It's a merry medicine to a hurting soul. And the Lord wants to heal all of our wounds and make us laugh again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We cried so long. And we were so burdened down. And the Lord is just releasing it. And that night, we had two rows of people from work. And there's a revival, and they're talking about it in the elevators, and they're talking about it, and the doctors are talking about it. And it's just awesome. The guy is awesome. i got to go sit down. Have another dunk. What happened to you? I relieved uh, Lindy at the front desk. I normally don't work the front desk. And the power of the Holy Spirit was upon Lindy, and she couldn't answer the phones. So they asked me to work the front desk. She got through with the revival and went back in there, and the Spirit was just in there. And she was just so filled with it. And then Andrea came down from WCIE and just wanted so much. And I wanted it too. And Andrea got stuck at the cabinet and she could not move. And Lindy fell on the floor. She couldn't get up laughing. And Bonnie was over here saying, oh Lord, let me get this through. Please let me get this through. And just... <sighs> and Janie, she got stuck to the kneeling on the floor. She couldn't get back up. And then it struck me, and I was just going crazy, and then the phone rang, and I would say, <laughs> You would do what? I don't know what I did. <laughs> I just know I told them there's a revival at the church, that they need to be here. <laughs> oh, and, home revival. Oh, yes. And I know that you said that we're not all getting what other people get. And I was just looking around and I, I want it so bad. <laughs> I want boldness. I want to be a warrior for Jesus. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Go ahead and have double up. Let's go over here. Come over here. What's happened to you? <laughs> um, you did this, and I fell fell down on the floor, and. On the floor for a while and couldn't get up from there and laughed and laughed and I couldn't talk and Jesus said my husband would like me better that way anymore. 
。喂。And and then got up for a long time. I got up. Then I went went this way, and I got over there. And my husband was on the phone, the floor, and he wasn't talking either. And the Lord said that he was better that way. <laughs> Go ahead and have a double note. <laughs> What's happening? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, the other night, well, all week I'd been around Shane and Kevin, and I was just just had a hunger for what they had, and nothing seemed to happen, and.、Uh, I'd been slain in the spirit several times, and so Wednesday night I got up and、uh, walked around and was talking to some of my kids and stuff. And I was getting ready to walk out the door, but I, I had to turn around, and come back, because my wife was stuck on the floor. I almost left her, and、uh, so when I, I started out the that area over there, I just started laughing. And I fell down, and I couldn't get up. So I was there for I don't know how long, and I finally said, "Okay, I gotta go. I gotta get up. I gotta drive me and Tracy home." So I got up and I made it like to the next section, and I fell down, and God just stuck me on the floor, and I couldn't move. And it's like just it came in waves. There'd be 15 minutes or so, I'd just be dead. I mean. It's like I was, I'm falling. <laughs> It's like I was, like when your hand or your leg or something goes to sleep, my whole body was that way. But there was something applying pressure, like I was just standing. Something was standing on my hands, and then I'd be that way for a little while, and all of a sudden I'd start laughing uncontrollably. But I, I couldn't get up. I'd just roll around on the floor. And I think I got out of here about two o'clock. I'm not sure. This this morning, when you asked all the full-time、uh, ministers to come up, you prayed for me, and. I hit the floor, and the Lord just said, "Wait for me, Kevin. Wait for me. Wait for me, Kevin." And I'm telling you tonight, don't get in a hurry. Wait for him. And he showed up, and he took me to his word, and he showed me where, after Abraham had died, the Philistines. Had stopped up all the wells that Abraham's servants had dug because they were jealous of Isaac. <laughs> you know, Isaac means laughter <laughs> because Isaac was prospering, and so Isaac opened up all the wells and <laughs> he, he dug a few of his own. And then, and then the Lord showed up with a shovel. And we started digging. <laughs> and we hit a gusher. Wonderful. What happened to you? <laughs> 
And then what happened? <laughs> Which hand was it? <laughs> Heel. Lord, just give a double dunk. <laughs> Hallelujah. This is Pastor Bill Wilson and this is the lady. Sister Nancy is also one of the pastors of Emmanuel in Spring Hill. God just touched her in a wonderful way. Can you share? was um um it was um it was um went Wednesday night and This is so wonderful, folks. The power of God's all over this lady. God touched her in Spring Hill. She'll never be the same again. And this lady is a fiery preacher, fiery Holy Ghost preacher. She doesn't have a problem speaking. But when the Spirit of God comes on you, suddenly you're not able to even speak. God's anointing is upon her in a very, very, very real way. This is the pastor. Maybe you can share a little bit about what happened to her. She was trying to explain what happened to her uh, Wednesday night, Brother Rodney. <laughs> Very holy. 
we, 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 we ministered and uh, for the last two months our church has been like the book of Acts and uh, at the end of the service one of our people came to her and, and revealed what God had showed her about Pastor Nancy and Pastor Nancy broke into such hilarious laughter that I have never heard her laugh like that in three years it just was awesome and she stayed at the altar for 20 25 minutes laughing like that and it's then tried to leave three quarters of the way out of the sanctuary she stopped And, and, and she couldn't proceed anymore. She was being consumed with fire. There was an anointing that was flowing over her that was just so awesome she, she couldn't hardly breathe. And... She was holding her Bible, standing vertically. The power of God was emanating from her such such a way. I, I just was afraid that to leave her standing, so I walked over and I just laid hands on her. And she went to the floor, and God poured, poured oil and warmth and fire into her. And it was awesome, awesome. And in the, in the last two months, it started in our church when you came January the 17th. The power of God has been so unbelievable people have been saved people have been healed but you know I think the greatest miracle of all is the love that our people have developed for God brother Rodney I have never loved him anymore our people are, are consumed with God now. They're, they're at church early, staying late. Oh, glory to God. <laughs> Many, my hands are on fire right now. <laughs> Have been for most of two months. And I really live to preach now. And I live to lay hands on the sick. I live to touch the hurting. I can't wait to pray for people. And I don't care what their problem is. God is bigger than every one of them. <laughs> and the anointing. The anointing of God that has flooded Emmanuel Christian Church is spilled over to all of Hernando County. <laughs> yes. <laughs> all of Florida will be ablaze by the end of 93 with the power of the anointing. I want one more testimony. I want Pastor Carl Strader, if you'd come, please. 
I just want to say we count it such a privilege and an honor to be here. I've heard about Carpenter's Home Church for many years. I've heard about it when I lived in Africa. And thank God for this church. Thank God for this church. Thank God for this church. What an honor it is for me to be here, to meet <clears throat> Pastor Carl and his family, the wonderful people here at this ministry. And the Lord spoke to me in December when I came and first met with him. God said, everything the devil's stolen, he returned sevenfold back to this, this place. I, I, I think if I don't look at you, but then there are several of them out there who look just like you. <laughs> so I'll, I'll look up at the sound booth or someplace. Um, Rodney, ever since I was a little boy and surrendered my heart to Jesus, and especially when I was a teenager, I committed my life to the Lordship of Jesus, and I've never taken my life back. I've never had a dream or a vision that was my own. It all came from God. And one of the things that I wanted more than anything else is to be a part of the total body of Christ. That was my dream. Not any one denomination or any one fellowship. I wanted, even when this church was going up and we moved from Main Street, and I've been here 27 years now, my vision, my dream, was to be a blessing to the entire body of Christ. And my dream is fulfilled tonight in this service. And for years, these have been lean years, these last several years, Throughout all of North America, they're lean years. They've been tough years. But I've never wavered in my commitment to the Lord because I'm committed to the Lord no matter what happens. But the prophets all said that the revival was going to come. And I, I tell you, Rodney, I was about ready to ask some of the prophets, when can I stone you? because those prophecies hadn't come to pass. I just thank God I don't have to stone the prophets. <laughs> oh. The Lord is so wonderful. So wonderful. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you for that sweet presence. Come here, lady, quickly. Stand right over there. Failed to overflow. Come here, both of you. Yes. Stand right here. Come. Come on. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Filled right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Let him just come. Listen. Let the Lord just come and touch you. Let him fill you. God can touch you right in your seat without even hands being laid on you. Come here, lady. Quickly. Quickly. <laughs> Filled with a new wine. Come here, sir. You. Yes. No, you pointed at yourself. Yes, come. No, no. And watch her.
Stand right over here. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Feel right now from the top of your head. To the, take it. Take it. Take it. Now I lose the touch. Don't walk out of it. Take it. Take it. Now I lose the touch of the Lord. Come here, lady. Yes. God is touching people. God is touching people. Filled from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you. Bring that man waving his hand. Bring him here. Quickly. flowing come here dear sister quickly stand right over there close your eyes lift your hands as you do the power of God comes on you filled the top of your head the soles of your feet touch your people Lord fill them fill them with the new wine fill them to overflowing even those that are listening by way of radio fill them in their homes with the same joy that you're filling your people with over here. Fill your people with your joy. Restore back to them the joy of their salvation. Bring that young lady there in the red. Come here with your hands on your head. Come here. Both of you come here. Both of you come here. Stand here, both of you. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Filled right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. God is filling his people. It is a joy unspeakable. It is a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Don't, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Allow the Lord to touch you. He'll touch you right in your seat. He'll touch you right in your seat. He'll heal you. He'll fill you to overflowing. Come here, sir. You, yes. Quickly. Help him. Are you visitors here? You with him? Filled right now. Why don't the three of you come, seeing you visitors and you're with him, come. Stand together over there. Close your eyes, lift your hands as you do the power of God falls on you. Filled right now. There it is, there it is, there it is right now. I loose the touch. That's it going right through. I loose the touch. I loose. Doesn't matter what church you're from, to. Take it. No, 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 no. No, there it is, going right through you. Filled, 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 filled. Filled. Now let it bubble right out your belly. Let the joy bubble right out your belly. You laugh like this, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, he he he. Yes, Lord. No, no, yes. pray. It's not a prayer meeting. Let the joy bubble. You laugh like this, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, ha ha ha, he he he. Yes, let the joy bubble. Yes. I said, let the joy bubble. Now, don't pray. It's not a prayer meeting. It's nothing prayer meeting about this. You can pray on the way home. Let the joy bubble. Let the joy bubble. I said, let the joy bubble. Let the joy bubble. I'm trying to resist. <laughs> joy. 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 Go ahead, lady on the floor. Let the joy bubble. Go ahead. Let the joy bubble. That's it. That's it. Let the joy bubble. Go ahead. Let the joy bubble. Go ahead. Let the joy bubble. Go ahead. Let the joy bubble. Ahead, the joy bubble. <laughs> I want to see it in him. <laughs> Just let that joy bubble. Get your mind quiet and let your joy bubble. Don't shake your head at me. I know what I'm doing. I do this for a living. Joy. 
Sure. Now stop praying now. It's not a prayer meeting. Close your eyes and let the joy bubble out your belly. You laugh like this. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Now let that bubble. Just let that. <laughs> Part of the problem is his head. Part of the problem is Lord. Help him. Come here. Stand right there. How old are you? Nine. Nine. Filled right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Hallelujah. Come here, lady, quickly. Stand right there. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Filled right now from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Now, the moment you start walking around, then everybody clams up. Well, don't call me. Why shouldn't I call you? Come here, this couple over here. Two of you together. Come here. Yes, both of you. You too. Yes. Stand right over here. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. As you do, the power of God falls in you. Filled right now. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. Now, I lose that touch. I lose that touch. Don't nominate anybody. Somebody's nominating you, brother. It's a lady behind you pointing at you. She's nominating you. Come here, dear sister. Stand right here. Filled from the top of your head. Both of you. In the aisle. Both of you. Get back in the aisle. Close your eyes. Lift your hands as you do. Filled from the top of your head. Now listen, you need to remember that this is God's operating table. God is touching people. I mean, if you don't want to be prayed for, you better hit the exit sign too. This is God's operating table. God's touching people. God's filling them. Come here. Don't look at me like that. Come here, you. Stand right here. Close your eyes, lift your hands. Fill right now, from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Don't walk out of that, don't walk out of that, take it. Take it right now. From your innermost being, bubbles forth the river. There it is, there it is. Yeah, that's it, that's it. Let that bubble, like a river. The joy, the joy, the joy, the joy, the joy, the joy, the joy. Now take it, take it, it's going to run through you. It's going to run through you. Come here. Is this your friend? Lift your hands. She's laughing and you cry. Fell from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Get her, Lord Jesus. Now, you know what? A lot of people would rather sing. I've got the joy, 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 joy. And they'd rather sing about it instead of have it. Sure. I'm so happy. Here's the reason why. Jesus took my burdens all away. You couldn't tell that looking at your face. Come here, you four. Quickly. Stand them over here. Come, bring them over here. Stand here. Close your eyes. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Lord, let the fire of God begin to fall upon me. Now, in Jesus' name, I loose that touch right now. From the top of your head to the soles of your feet. I loose the fire of God right now. Right now. In Jesus' name. There it is. There it is. There it is. There it is. More. 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 Get him, Lord. Get him, even if he's a visitor. <laughs> Just get him. That's it. Going right through you. The power of God's going right through you. The power of God's going right through you. Let that bubble right out your belly like a river. 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 More. 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 I loose. I loose the touch. I loose. I loose the touch. Take that. Take that. It's going right through you. It's going right through you. Take that. It's going right through you. More. More. Never the same. Never the same.
Hallelujah. Come here, dear sister, quickly. Stand right there. Fell from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. God is touching people's lives. <laughs> it's the joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. The joy of the Lord. Someone said, Brother Rodney, what if I don't want to be prayed for? Just look right ahead of you. Don't smile. Just look right ahead of you. Don't smile. Hallelujah. Come here, lady. Stand right there. Filled from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. God wants to touch you. God wants to fill you with his joy. Come here. You are visiting here tonight. You're hungry, sir. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look who's back here. Hide him back in the back here. Get up here. I believe you both. I left you alone this morning. I didn't call in. I thought I'd give you a break on the radio. I'm glad you showed up. Have another dose. Tell your friend I want to see him. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come here, dear sister, quickly. And you too, sir. Stand right over here. Close your eyes, lift your hands as you do. The power of God falls on you. Fill right now. Lord, get some of those brothers up in the sound booth. Get them, Jesus. Get them. Get them, Lord. Get them. Get them. Get them, Lord. Fill them. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I tell you, you just need to let that joy bubble out your belly. You just need to let that joy bubble out your belly. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord Jesus. Thank you, blessed Lord Jesus. Thank you for that touch. Thank you for thy anointing. Never the same again. What's happening over here? Come here, you four. Come here, you four. Lift your hands. Fill them, Lord. Fill them to overflowing. Fill them to overflowing. With the new wine of the Holy Ghost. The new wine. Come here, sister. Come here. Stand right over here. Fill the fresh. Thank the Lord Jesus. You knew it. Get it, Lord. Get it right here. And him too. <laughs> Let that bubble right out of your belly. You too, sir. Get him, Lord. Get him too. Get him too. Get her too. Get him too. Phil. It's good, isn't it, sister? Let that bubble right out your belly. 
Where are you from? Lake Wales. Which, which church do you attend? First, first or second. Pastor. You pastor? Amen. Oh, God's going to give a mighty revival Amen. to your church. Hallelujah. A mighty revival, Lord, we pray. Oh. This is Lake Wales Assembly of God. Lord, Lord, just send a whale of revival there. Send a whale of a revival there, God. Lord, did it hit the church Sunday? <laughs> more. More. More, lady. More. You too, sir. Let that bubble. Joy. 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 Hallelujah. You too, dear brother. Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Lord, let your fire just begin to form. There it is. There it is. There it is. From the top of your head to the very soles of your feet. Now I loose that touch. Now let that begin to bubble right out your belly. Let the joy begin to bubble out your belly. You laugh like this. Ha, ha, ha. Let it bubble. Let it flow like a river. Filled from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Right now. <laughs> Give him a double dose too, more. Come here, dear lady. Is that your wife? Are you happy that we pray for her? <laughs> Filled to overflow. It's a joy unspeakable and full of glory. Full of glory. Full of glory. It's a joy unspeakable and full of glory. And the half has never yet been told. Hallelujah. Fill them all, Lord. Fill them all with your joy. 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 Don't stop. Lord, get it. Get it. And you too. Get it, Lord. Fill them up. Fill him, Lord. <laughs> Filled with our joy. Filled with the glory. Hallelujah. Filled with the glory. Filled with the glory. Hallelujah. This is all the ministry here. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. We just sit back here and observe. <laughs> uh, Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. <laughs> Oh, get Brother Bob. And get this dear brother too. And get this dear brother too. Filled, I said. Filled. God is filling people right in this seat. Fill him, Lord. Fill him, Jesus. Fill him, Lord Jesus. Fill. 
Phil and Sir. Phil. 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 Phil with the joy of the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Thank the Lord, Jesus. Fill them all. Fill them all. <laughs> Thank the Lord, Jesus. Thank the Lord, Jesus. Fill them all with our touch. Let that bubble right out your belly. Fill with the touch of God. Fill with the touch of the Lord. Filled to overflow. Filled to overflow. Have another job. Now, people are paying big money in the bars tonight to get this way. We're drinking of the new wine. We're drinking of the new wine. We're drinking of the new wine. We're being filled with the new wine. It's the new wine, Pastor Carl. It's the new wine. 